Hello drama fans, and welcome to the recap of Arthur Chronicles, The Sword of Aramon Episode 8. Share, like, and comment on our video. Thanks. Tanya was advised by Saya that a plot will be carried out by the Children of Prophecy. The conflict between Arthdol and the Ego tribe cannot be avoided. Tanya doesn't like blood, so he has come up with a different strategy. In order to welcome the Inar Shinji into Arthdol, Tanya and him will have to kill Tagen. They have indeed become allies. Saya's demeanor, however, changes when he notices the sword on the tree. Inishinji was disparaged by Karat, a warrior from the Momo tribe, but instead of reacting angrily, he asked Karat for a favor. When Karat refused and insulted him, Inashinji informed him, Your future, before today is over, you will kneel before me. He did, in fact, bow down before Inashinji after giving him a token that served as proof that he had helped a member of the Momo tribe. Karat gave complete repayment. By removing the iron meteorite from the Lake of Stars depth. In Arthdol, because the Minister of Bang of Prison referred to Igudis' dream as Dirty Gwidget in front of the council meeting, the king beheaded him. Tagen is aware that Saya was not the one that saved him. In order to remove the king, Saya and the queen devised a plan. Yunxiam was informed that there is not enough material for melting the meteorite and it will take roughly a month to complete. Inar Shinji gave the spy the wrong path because he discovered the mole in the Ago tribe. As punishment for defiling the holy site, the king executed Yanbol and Jitoha. Because of this, the queen and Saya's plans could be carried out as intended. Tanya was advised by Saya to flee by boat if things went wrong, but she declined his advice and thanked him. Saya and the queen are in for a tremendous surprise as the siege begins. Everything involved was a kingly trap. The queen's and Saya's defense will be what? In the comment box below, please share your opinions. Subscribe and follow us. Thank you.